about. I know Ling did beat him in the Wi-Fi bracket for the Smash Full Tour. So, definitely familiar with this matchup. Having the likes of Kiwi in his region. Yeah, still going to definitely get grabbed there. Oh, wow. You very rarely see Sinji get hit by somebody, you know, knocking his hydrant back at him at point blank range like that. Yeah. Also, what are your thoughts on this this stage for game one? Oh, that's actually a really good question. I don't pre necessarily like this stage, but I don't necessarily like this matchup <laughs> as, <laughs> as Peach, as being another Peach player. So I've like opted to think of just playing other characters during it, but Ling's just m making it work. This is one of Peach's better stages. Oh, Pac-Man has a slight uh, percent deficit right now, and Ling Ling with these meaty hits. Yeah, just <laughs> trying to get all the damage he can. <coughs> and at this point, Sinji actually losing the first stock here. He has an edge guard opportunity. Let's see if he can get it. He, in fact, does. That's a massive for Sinji. Otherwise, this could have escalated way past. He would have just been out of his depth in an instant. Yeah. That's a stitch. We're in stitch time. Yes, he still he still has the stitch. Yeah. Why wouldn't he? Uh, <laughs> he still has the stitch. Okay, now it's gone. Uh, yes. So in this matchup in particular, how does Peach deal with Hydra? Uh, there's multiple ways to deal with it, but it is one of the biggest tool. You can t you can just hit it away through like a few of your aerials, turn up it. Um, you can also toad the Hydra. So count Hydra does activate counters. So that's a neat little trick if you want to do it. But that, would that break the Hydra? That would break the Hydra. Oh, okay. Does she get any invincibility when uh, the counter toad activates? Uh, good question. Actually, a better peach man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, Ling Ling. Um, anyway, this is Sinji now, despite the fact that he lost that first stock pretty decisively. Uh, he has a lead. He has a big lead here, yeah. almost lapping Ling Ling in percent. It looks like it's going to be the case in just a moment. Okay, yeah. I know this matchup is really hard. Honestly, I'm loving the way that Sinji is really mixing up the moves that he uses to break Hydrant. Because Peach can have that flow, right? You know, to yeah. sort of choose the height that she's going to be hovering at. And so by, you know, being tricky of which move he's actually going to use to break it, you know, it's harder to just float at a safe height. Oh, he wanted the dash grab, but didn't get the dash. And that should That's be it. it. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, Sinji taking game one in a two-stock. Yeah, pretty dominant, too. Pretty, Especially when you consider the fact that Ling Ling took that first stock, looked really good, and then Sinji just figured out what he needed to do. Yeah. And so will Ling Ling be able to counteract that, or will Sinji's sort of prying open of the clamshell just carry on and let him win a 2-0 victory? Yeah, let's see what happens. Yo, Sturdy Kid, why aren't you here, by the way? Yes, yeah, sir. This is supposed to be your region. Yeah. This is supposed to be your tournament, dude. If you had shown up here, you probably would have won. Yeah. Like, you're missing out on a big stack of cash. Yeah. Isn't this the 100th one? This is the 100th one, which like, means there are putt bonuses. Like, come on, Stir. <laughs> you slacking. <laughs> yeah, the song is okay. <laughs> oh, I missed what song this was. Like, I don't remember the name. <laughs> oh. Oh, no, he did have invincibility when we grabbing the ledge there. Yeah. But Oh, it's the Persona song. Okay. <gasps> That's another stitch. That's the second stitch so far this set. And <laughs> Sinji knows it, and he is fearful. Oh, oh, no. Yeah. Oh, didn't barely misspace that. Yeah. Oh, I like that float. And 
look at this. Ling has not taken any percent. And that's not, this isn't like, oh, one, you know, six, zero to death combo. This is a minute of game plan against Sinji, a fantastic player, and Ling Ling is untouched. Yeah, he's just, he was just outplaying him for that area of time. And part of that outplaying was just hovering at the right heights. You know, he, I saw a lot of Ling Ling just like hovering and down airing, and Sinchi didn't really have an effective answer to it. And in the end, he, I think, connected one hit that led to a 24%. That's yeah. it. And Ling's been calling out all these neutral get-ups that Sinji has been doing. Oh, I like that. Ooh, the back air. That's a brave challenge. Yeah, you can do that. I know it was an option in Smash 4, but it's a lot harder in this one to, like, get that timing down. Because Pac-Man does get, like, an invincibility. Yeah. You know, we're not really seeing that many cheeky plays from Sinji. Instead, he's just setting up the Hydrant, retreating behind it in order to get the fruit that he wants, and then just, yeah. you know, trying to use that fruit to the best of his ability. Yeah, it's also the fact that Ling's just not giving him the timing. And... Just managed to get away and great edge guard again. It's just shaping up like it might actually be a three stock if Ling Ling continues to play at the level that he's been so far this game. Oh, that's a bomb. That's oh. a bomb. He's almost dead. We have two stitches and a bomb, dude. I don't see the problem here. <laughs> I don't see a problem, officer. <laughs> oh, Ling wanted it all. Yeah, you're not going to punch that. I love the fact that he just... Drop the parasol for a second to readjust his height so that uh, you would be able to avoid that down smash. Yeah. Throw up. It doesn't go that high. Oh, I like the up tilt up air. That was specifically late up tilt into up air. Yeah. So now Sinji, I mean, three minutes left in the – there's four minutes left in the game. So it's not unfeasible that he'd be – uh, able to make this comeback. There is a certain point where the timer just no longer makes it physically possible for a player like Sinji to be able to make a comeback. But that being said, it still is almost unfeasible because 151% Ling Ling at 18% on two stocks. Yeah, yeah it's going to be enough. Alright. One game apiece. There is no DSR. Yeah, no DSR here, meaning that we could we could see the counter pick back to FD or Omega Dreamland Game Boy Edition. Oh my God! Why would Omega you Wrecking Crew. Oh no! <laughs> Why did you want that? <laughs> so you can have the Game Boy Light battery die. Oh, I'm pretty sure the battery does drain as you play on that stage. Does it? <clears throat> I didn't even know that. Yo, can we talk about how the original Game Boys, uh, their battery light was only red and was actually a terrible metric for figuring out how much battery you had left? Well, it used to blink, didn't it? I don't even remember if it blinked. So I'm pretty sure, yeah, that's how old I am. <laughs> I'm pretty sure when it started to die, it used to blink or it used to like fade. No, it used to fade. That's yeah, what it was. It used to fade. So. That's like your metric, so it wasn't as bright. The light wasn't as bright when it was. Uh, but it's like that's such a arbitrary metric. Yeah, I, it, it was it like did. especially because no, wasn't. it didn't even have a light. So. <laughs> oh. Anyway, uh, enough of that. This time around, Sinji looking much much better than that last game. Ob able to do about 50, 67 percent actually. He's already going for the bell. Interesting. Uh, yeah, it's putting Ling in just. Bad situation. <laughs> and a cherry on top. Going for those very quick fruits right now while he's at that mid-range distance away from Ling Ling. Yeah. And, no, Ling Ling play more, plays more defensive style. And now, like, versus Sinji, he plays a lot more aggressive. Like, just so different from the style he normally plays. And Yeah, now this time around we're seeing a lot of cheeky movement from Sinji. The fact that he's, you know, maneuvering around, recognizing when he's not able to actually try and close the gap or anything like that. Beautiful parry on jab three. This might be a stock here. Yeah, unfortunately, it was too late for that roll punish. And 
this hydrant's already taken some damage. <clears throat> it could possibly be a big threat. Wow. Nope. That, that's too high for the stock being taken, but man, that that let me go so high. Does he have he's still opting to use the bell? I'm yeah. surprised. I feel like he is maybe uh Well oh, Bell percent. catches Peach a lot better. Oh, because of the height, the yeah. bounce? Yeah. Ah. So it's a lot easier for Peach to avoid the key, if anything. So you won't get a lot of mileage or a lot of kills off it. And Bear taking it before Sinji could get his kill set up. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, that's such a good bait. Sinji does it all the time. Yeah, it's like, okay, yeah, that, that grab is laggy. But don't forget, he's got backup. Yeah, never forget. <laughs> All right, this kind of projectile battle, long range that we hadn't really seen uh, that much this set so far. Yeah, it's because of the bigger stage that we're on, Kalos, that we get to see like these projectiles come up. You're going to see a, a bit more turn up camping, a bit more item camping, I guess. Yeah. Item generating with <laughs> Pac-Man. I will say that with Peach turnips, we, when she is has the room to just pull turnips again and again and again, that does give her more chances to pull something like a Stitch or a Bomb or a Saturn and that could, you know, give Peach a serious advantage. Like there. Oh. Yeah. This throws it away this time. But at the rate you're pulling, you're probably going to pull like one more. Yeah, is that a 1 in 32 chance? Uh, a bit higher. Seems you're just holding his shield, recognizing the danger of getting caught by that peach down air. Yeah, and he wants to use... Okay, get in here right there. But he wants Ooh. to get a Galaga combo, just like for the massive damage, because Sinji, it, Ling is at 48%, and one combo would do massive damage. He opts to like just give away that combo oh, right there. <laughs> How did he know the exact spacing he needed to be at to not get hit by that hydrant? Yo, when you play this matchup enough, <laughs> you just know. <laughs> that forward air coming in so clutch for Sinji. It's such a fast move, and he was able to intercept Ling's own forward air. That would definitely would have been the stock. And that means that we're at the point where since forward air can kill, every time Sinji gets put on ledge, there has to be a little bit of a clench going on there. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of clench. I love that parry right there. <laughs> he's still opting, I think, for the Galaga, or is he just charging it to get Bell? I think he's just charging it. I think we're in Bell mode right now. Yeah. I think he has Bell. Weak your fan. There's the Saturn. We've honestly, I think we've had the full, uh, the full. Now we have the full one because we just finally got um, Dot Eyes. All of them has come out. Uh, yeah, going to be throwing out that bell once again. The f At this point, do you think if he hits him in the air, whether he could actually convert off of it into a kill? Uh, if he, as long as it's not too high up. He does have Rage. So we'll have to see. Good patience from Ling. This yeah, actually speaking just of patience, pace the timer. Yeah, he's the timer is absolutely paramount right now. <gasps> that should be it. Oh, sending the <laughs> wrong way. Taking this yeah. stock is so important, and Ling does it. A minute and twelve on the clock. Yeah, now the timer is on Ling's side. I mean, it has been for a while. And now Sinji has to figure out a way to get this kill. And the fact that the timer is ticking down means he has less time to think about how he's going to do it. And every little nick hurts so much yeah. at this point. Oh, that was really big. Now he's going for key plays. I like that. Honestly, he needs to get the stock somehow. And wait, wait, hold on a second. If Peach is just floating, can he just throw the key at her? Or can she air dodge in time? Uh, she, he can get the key thrown at you. Oh, at 40, just, yeah, he's going to wait. He's yeah. going to wait. And Sinji throws out the key. I love that. He wants the Galaga because that Galaxian, if he gets a single Galaxian combo, it could lead to uh, 
enough damage to change the deficit. Oh no, just floating up there. Sinji has to chase Ling down, only about 30% separating them. Oh, that damage hurts so much. Seven seconds on the clock, six, we're down to the five, four, three, two, one. Sinji has no chance of climbing it back, and that's gonna yeah. be Ling Ling taking it to one, and a nail-biter of a timeout. Yeah, GG's.